Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Hey guys, doing no fat day 8 of 90. And today, let's talk about today. Today was a pretty good day. Um, um, I've been mentioning in the past few videos that, um, that the end of the semester is this week. And so, I'm, I'm looking for sort of like a summer job sort of. Even though we, even though we the fall semester starts the 17th of August. So, <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, so I called McDonald's on my job plan and they mentioned that every Tuesday from 10 to 11 a.m. The manager conducts open interviews. So you can just go, so anybody and anybody can just go in there and get interviewed. So, so um, and I just found about this yet um yesterday, like evening. So I was saying, okay, why not just go tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. I, I would have to sacrifice, you know, going to class. Well, not going to class, but I sort of about 30 minutes late. But, you know, I thought it was for a worldly cause. So, how did, how did the interview go? You may ask. Let's let's just say this. Let, let me put it like this. I have a lot of energy. And me, on no fat, it's like I'm like super setting 15 because I'm all, I was already, I'm already an energetic person without fat, with, when, while I was fapping. When I say that, I mean like, you know, doing different tasks. I was high, high, I was really, I had a lot of energy, even if I, even if I wanted to binge. I was still naturally, I'm, I'm naturally an energetic person. But now on no fat, the energy is like 20 times 50 billion. I don't, my energy levels are just crazy. So I was a little, I was excited. You, you know how you're really excited, you're jumpy. Um, so I'm, I'm at the McDonald's waiting, waiting to get interviewed. And then I see a bunch of other people there too getting interviewed. And then I look at the manager across the, uh, over yonder. And she asks him, you ever see, you ever see like the hiring manager with this, this scowl on, on their face? Like, <laughs> like she had this look on her face like this, like you have, excuse me, you ever meet somebody who you just, who you think never smiles at all? Like they, 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 they scowl so much. They look, they look weird if they do smile. That's how she looked sort of. She looked like if she smiled, she wouldn't be the same. She wouldn't look like the same person. So pretty much, if if you guys want to know, it, it, the, the cut the cut of not the cut of not so long story short, I didn't do too good, I would say. But you know, walking out of there, I told myself I don't care. Guess I I'm, I'm always dwelling on things. I'm not dwelling on this. You can't just dwell on things. You have to be able to, you have to you have to move on from them. I have to say this one thing. I didn't do a good job preparing for it. Like like. Yesterday evening, I, I figured out that they were doing open interviews every Tuesday or so. So, um, okay, I, I told myself I was going to um, this morning to go, but I wasn't really mentally prepared just to, okay, job interview mode. But um, pretty much it was like, a, she was in, because she, she only has an hour to interview people, so it was like, you know, maybe maybe a few minutes, you, uh, uh, lucky to get even a minute, and then she, you, gotta, you gotta get out. So, um, oh, when I, when I first sat down, I went to go shake her hand, and... She didn't, she didn't, <laughs> you, ever, you ever go to shake, like to shake somebody's hand and they don't even respond to you, what you, to your hand at all, they just look at it like this, that's how, that, that's what was like, and I said, I knew from then on it was going to go down here from there, I said, oh, yep, <laughs> this ain't going to go too good, so, doing it, when the interview ended, I got up and shake their hand, smiling like my, I usually do, and I had this whole even guy there, it was not uncomfortable, but, you know, I didn't, like, if, if, if I get a call back, <laughs> Something in the universe looking out for me because <laughs> I highly doubt that. But hey, guess what? We, oh, guess what we can do? Move on to the next day. That's all you can do. But yeah, back to no fat. Today was a pretty good day. No urges. A lot of energy. Feeling pretty good. But 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 speaking of urges, I think they on the day seven. Day seven yesterday, uh, around like around nine. I started to get, you, you know, I started to get a Super Saiyan, the Super Saiyan 1 urge, because Super Saiyan 5 urges are, the, are like the top. You ain't getting, you ain't getting over that. I, I was at the Super Saiyan 1 urges. I, my, my urges, they were, they were like there. Like, I, I had them, I, I, I thought for a half a second, I had like literally a half a second, I'm at the fat. 
But it was quick. Like, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm bullshit. I ain't fapping. But, but you know, like I mentioned previous streaks, <laughs> as you guys know, they, what, 8 through 11 or whatever, maybe 7 or whatever, all the days when things, when things make it crazy. Well, we'll get crazy. So, guess what? I'm in the, like I said before, I'm in the gauntlet phase of no fap. If you're on day like 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's when things get really hard and you start to get those, those strong urges. But it's all about, you know, you know, it's sort of like when you when you play a video game and you, you can and the boss keeps beating you and you keep getting your ass whooped by the boss and you gotta start back over from the beginning <laughs> and then go back up to play the, to play the boss. That's when no fap is like. You get to a certain day and you relapse and then you tell yourself again, okay, after after a couple more relapses, after day one or two, now you're ready for another serious run. So then you keep getting back to the same place, you keep relapsing. At some point, you know, you got to try something different. Like, I got to day 17 last time. Hmm. I may have to do something different to get, to get past day 17 because, you know, you just can't do no fat without you just sitting there and saying to yourself, well, I'm just going to sit here and, just, and survive urges. You have to do something, get out of the house, do something different, do some, get some new habits in. I need a lot of take my own advice, by the way. I got these Spanish books, but I wouldn't just sit down and read and read every day instead of coming up with excuses not to. But yeah, man, day eight of ninety, day day nine is literally a few hours away. I'm I'm ready to get back to the double digit day sort of event day seven the day seventeen loss, but things will get interesting next week because there is no school. So how would I feel how would I feel the world of time? Who knows? I'm not I'm not trying to look too I'm not trying to look too far. I'm trying to focus just one day at a time. <laughs> so you guys, no fab day eight of ninety. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day nine. And as always, don't relapse. Oh, and P.S. A wet dream is not a relapse. <laughs> Have a good day or night, I should say. If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. <laughs>